Oh, my free XP. Prized by minions. He is. Look at them. Plus the horse. Well, now I gotta, I gotta resurrect all these ones. Oh, that one melted. <laughs> like how they just dust. I wonder if the cave has anything to do with this. I gotta res them all. That's all EXP. Think of all the conjuration EXP from this chat. I can't just leave this on the ground. That's valuable EXP. <laughs> just leaving dust piles when they all disintegrate. Oh, I hate the noises they make. I really hate the noise. They have different models for a bunch of these. These aren't all the same. They kind of follow the same rules as the Draugr. Okay, this guy's got a unique look. He's got, look at this guy's got like no skin on his jaw. All his mouth flesh is gone. <laughs> Can they just fall over and turn to dust piles? Like how they stand up too. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all of them. I don't think there's any more of them. Come, my minions. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh, I hate the noises they make. It's awful. What is over here? You know what? We're gonna go check this out. We got some time left for the night. Buff up and let's go and get in there. Dude, didn't even know what hit him. Got backhanded. A histocarp? South Fringe Sanctum. What is this? Oh, that's, I was like, what's that noise? Oh, that's just the zombies. The lads. Oh, shit, there was a chest over here. I don't really have the carry weight to investigate this, but... <laughs> I love how dumb their attack is. Look at them. <laughs> They'll jump in on it. Come, boys. Where do we go up or do we go down? Let's go in here first. Oh, you know what I can do? Switch my ability over here. I can resurrect new things. A spider, but I got another chest. Uh, there are many more. Oh, big spider. What 
Where are the lads? Where's my squad? What are you guys doing? Why are you not down here helping me kill spiders? Well, it could always send its children up to kill it. Always an option, right? Yeah. Ow! Resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. Well, right now I'm just worried about killing this giant spider that's in my way. I don't know why it's standing there. I'm not questioning this. Just going to keep holding my hand here and shooting gouts of fire at it. Now we are going to chug potions. I do not have potions to chug, never mind. Do I have a, any a, items I can equip right now? Technically these. Those are technically better. Armor rating... My armor rating is zero, so 5% of zero is still zero. That's not bad. Uh. Almost there. He is. Now he's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Why did I do this? What was in here to collect? Where the hell are my zombies? Who the hell? Selveni Neltheri. Please cut me down. Thanks for getting me out of that. Bashnag's coven chased me out and left me for dead down here. Nobody lasts too long with the spiders. Please, will you help me get out of here? If the coast is clear, I'll make a break for it. Bashnag cursed me. I can't cast a spell to save my life right now. I'll have to wait until the way out is safe. This isn't safe way here. Let me know if it seems safe to me. Me, I'm too weak right now. Between the spiders and the coven, I I've never found this place before. Cave. What coven are you talking Bashnag about? Circle of mages. We, well, they live here. They made it pretty clear that I'm no longer welcome. Why aren't you part of the coven anymore? I left for a few days and lived in. When I came. Bashnag accused me of trying to sell him out to the Thalmor. I was cursed and chased off. Why are you in Riften? My daughter was sent to the orphanage there when I stood accused of illegal necromancy. I had no choice. Run or die. I joined with Bashnag then, but I thought of Savella every day. So I snuck off hoping to find and steal away with her. Only she was gone. Shipped away to another orphanage or adopted... I didn't know what else to do, so I came back, hoping nobody noticed I left. I'm feeling better, but Bashnag's curse won't wear off for weeks. Tell me more about this coven. These are no dainty college mages. This is sad. Bashnag We're gonna kill Bashnag. Bashnag sounds like a jerk. The mind of a warlord. Big old dick. This is a dangerous bunch. They're good company. If you want to study necromancy in peace, though. I am, and I don't want to hear your moral judgments about it either. That's okay, I'm also a necromancer. You not see my zombies. Mm -hmm. See? I don't know why he's glowing purple, though. That's new. He wasn't doing that I'm before. Right now. Between the Ow. Yeah, I don't know why he's glowing purple. Ow! Ow!
I don't know where you came from, but... Eat shit. Alright, you are now another one of my zombies. Welcome aboard. Douchebag. Can I get over there? A little bit of platforming. Egg sack. Spider egg. Mine now. Spider egg. Mine now. I don't think the spider would make a very good zombie. We're not going to raise the, the spider. Well, I count two zombies, but I still have five active, so I don't know where the other ones went. So what I'm going to do is we're going to kill the other spell swords and create new zombies. This man liked bikinis. Welcome to the team. Where are we? This way? Oh, you must be Vashnag. Ow. You a fan of Dude Perfect? I'll admit I've never heard of Dude Perfect. Bashneg is considered Necromancer Adept. Well, not anymore, he's not. Ah, oh, damn it. I want these items. Oh, I like this. The Ruby Bevel Silver Pendant. I like that quite a bit. Garnet cushion quicksilver prong earrings. The art of war magic. Oh, that's really funny. It's 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 written like Sun Tzu's The Art of War. <laughs> Eating mac and cheese. Nice, nice. I wonder if I can eliminate some of my inventory problems here. Okay, no, I really can't, actually. We oh, killed one of my dudes. Alright, well, I guess if we make it back outside, I can just get on my horse. Damn. I can't resurrect Bashnag. I do need to go back down and let, uh, what's-her-face know that we, uh, killed Bashnag and she can leave now. Oh, hey. I like this robe. This actually looks pretty nice on me. Oh, well, we found this by accident. Oh, this is locked. Not anymore. Hey, friend. <laughs> well, he's dead. <laughs> Welcome to the team. We don't waste corpses. I still don't know where my other two are. Well, my other one is. Oh, never mind. I think I found them. It would appear that they decided to run off this direction. I'm aware I'm carrying too much to run. So, friends, what did you find? Oh, hello. I do like fresh corpses. Are these my zombies? I think these are my zombies. Huh. 
I found my zombies. They went this way. I got my zombies back. Well, most of them anyway. Well, it looks like they killed all the spell swords up here. A single carrot topaz. Hello, Mizuki. What you doing, kitty? No, not yours. Copper ore, leather strips, leather boots of resist frost. You know what? That's an enchantment we don't have yet. We're going to take that with us. I am way over encumbered. <laughs> I'm big cucumbered right now. Well, now that everything's dead, now I think I'll, uh, resurrect all the spiders for free casting EXP. Do like EXP. Yeah, as we, uh, you know. Oh, hello. The RP walk our way down here since... Wait, we're at 315. Do I have a potion? Oh, it only raised it by 20. That, uh, that does not, uh, not raise it by enough. I think every cast of the spell gives the EXP towards con conjuration. And the higher my level, the more shit I can cast. <laughs> so I have a uh, zombie spider army. Can I resurrect the big one? Nah, too powerful. Too strong for my spell. I missed one. I'm I won't be myself for some time. I just need to get out of here and recover. Can you make it out of here? Bashnag cursed me. I can't. The way out is clear, good luck. You. When I find my daughter, it will be thanks to you. Okay, bye. Resurrect that one. I think that's everything I can resurrect right now. Spiders are making zombie noises. That's pretty funny. This way, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go use Bash Nag's enchantment table so I can disenchant those boots. We'll make it out of this cave eventually. We'll make it out of here. Very slowly, but we'll make it out of here. Definitely didn't expect to find this, though. Right, so what is that? Because these are an item and these are... We don't want to disenchant things that are for the museum. That's That would be silly. Hey, Sylvani Nethri... Or ne Sylvani Nethri escaped the cave. I think that was just a miscellaneous quest, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever found this cave. I don't remember being in here. But hey, we helped some random NPC. That's something to feel good about. 
Maybe she'll find her daughter one day. I don't think I've ever seen a Dark Elf Child NPC, though, so... Don't know if that exists. <laughs> oh, fucking frostbite spiders. Is that a rabbit? In the corner over there? Is that what that is? No? There's a fox that lives in here. Oh, well, it's your cave now, homie. You can go eat, uh, you can go eat Grashnag for food. We will make it back to Solitude eventually, chat. We will eventually make it back. Just be very, very slowly. Hey look, free corpse. I forgot about you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Fucking noises they make. <laughs> they just make the most generic zombie noise you can make, but it's it's just funny. Where the hell am I? Get me way the hell out. There's another guy. I'm gonna resurrect him too. Uh, Got him in the foot. Uh, oh, huh. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Let's get back to Solitude to turn all these items in. Definitely uh, packed on some weight running around collecting items. Oh, well, I'm not really worried about that. Your fireballs will heal Blaze by hitting him. <laughs> nice part about your horse being made out of fire. <laughs> fire things don't hurt it. It heals it. <laughs> Maybe this is the way back down the mountain. This seems right. This seems correct. Here's Helgen, so we go around Helgen, shoot through Riverwood. I should be able to just take the cart back to Solitude then. Looks like Quill is fighting with uh, mods. <laughs> I keep seeing him come in and out of Skyrim every couple of minutes. So he's either trying to get something to work, 
or his game is crashing his desktop and he's trying to figure out why. Well, we still have all those spiders. I just don't know where they're at. Oh, hey, it's the same bandits. What are the odds of that? I would assume on the cell change they would have despawned. Guess not. I'm pretty sure a hunter random event spawned on top of the same spot they are. <laughs> and they just murder him. Oh, what'll be nice is when we actually do get to go to White Run, we could talk to Farangar and probably buy some new spells. Good thinking, I just thought of that. Other than that, the only place... We haven't really been to any of the other holds yet, so I can't get... Too many spell upgrades from there. Luke and Valerius only sells so many. I think Ferengar is the next spot that we'll see any any significant spell, at least to get the projectile ones for the um the apprentice level spells over the novice gout spells. Oh, the gout of flame, gout of shock, and gout of frost spells are pretty good. Channel damage pretty strong. The projectile ones are kind of fun though, especially once you get to because I want to get to this thing because there's I think it's adamant that changes the uh, perks and stuff. But there is, uh, Silent Casting got moved into Sneak. And then Damage Dealing, the Shadow Casting makes it so that, uh, spells just become flat, do more damage. I don't think they can ever benefit from Sneak Attacks. I don't think the game's coded to allow for that. But... It would effectively be doing Sneak Attack and damage. With that kind of damage bonus on it. So that'd be pretty cool to go throwing around ice spikes and fireballs with silent casting. Cause I I don't I don't care about other people think. I like sneaky magic. Sneaky magic is definitely a thing that should be allowed. I hate the idea that magic is exclusively something that is a verbal component and you can never actually be silent with it. I don't like that kind. Of, that kind of magic sucks. I like fun magic. I care. Need some? Where do you want to go? Sometimes you just want to be sneaky, through, but also cast spells. And back and we'll be off. Solitude's a big board town, you know, full of sailors and their tales of faraway lands. All right, we made it to the cart, Most so we can get back to the museum. <laughs> The province of Skyrim. Huh. I don't know where Blaze ended up. That's alright. We'll just walk. We'll make it. I was gonna say, what happened? My, my carry was showing 368, 368 there for a second. I was like, wait a minute, that ain't right. That don't look right. Slowly but surely, we will make it back inside Solitude. Safe, I hope. Don't 
don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. Well, I'm pretty sure it's rock joint. In fact, I think we can check that. It is in fact rock joint. <laughs> Thankfully, it is not impacting anything that is relevant at the moment. We'll make it. Just a bit of a walk is all. One of the uh, the biggest things I'd really like to have as a spell right now is the alteration spell called Feather. <laughs> Very nice spell. A real big fan. I uh, haven't found it yet. Would love to find it though. I haven't been to a uh, magic shop yet, so I can't buy it yet. I think we could technically get some Bill Stentor, but I don't want to have to start the Patema quest this early in the game. I kind of want to wait. Because uh, navigating around that with level 1 magic spells really sucks. So we're not going to do Patema and have our quest sitting in my log until later. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Sorry, you'll have to find some other way to stroke your I ego. Take no for an answer. Fine. Die. Why do you have so much health? Fuck me, dude. Why do you have so much damage? Can I even hurt you? At least it turned out that <laughs> he got fucking dealt with pretty hard. Oh, we're at 320. That's still not anywhere near enough. I can only get to 340, so we're still gonna walk. That was a weird little uh, aside. I was like, who's this guy standing here in steel? Oh, he wants to kill me. Why, though? Is that just another miscellaneous? Yeah, that was just another Radiant quest. I don't know, man. Who <laughs> came out of nowhere? He's like, yo, you call yourself a wizard? Bro, you call yourself a Skyrim streamer? Name every Nord. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. You camping outside my house? Weird-ass mailman. Ah. A letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Oh, that's the... What are you doing down there? Mr. Max? Oh, I also got the Hendraheim quest to go do that. Oh, hang on. I can, I can learn one of these spell tome summon zombies or conjure zombies.
Okay. That resets that. I don't know if I'll end up using staves on back. It's a cool mod, but I don't think I'll need it. Mostly because I just don't see myself utilizing it as much. That and I have visible favorited items anyway. I think that one might be redundant. We may need to take that out of the load order. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, oh, oh. So nice. Came home to 69 gold in the donation box. Very nice. these robes look. Big fan. Big fan. I quite like these. Almost like a romper almost, actually. The way it's set up. Weird. What if there's boots and gloves that go with them? Oh, you know, I probably should have taken those necromancer boots and gloves. They probably matched. Thinking about it now, I should have taken them off that guy. Ah, well. Too late now. He's a uh, rotting corpse out on a snowy mountain. Well, he's probably well-preserved. We'll find him in 2,000 years. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls like 19 and that guy's corpse will be laying there in the ice to be found. Or another 10 years in Skyrim extra, extra anniversary, double it, 20th anniversary edition. The dude's corpse is frozen out there. Well, him also being alive so that he can be part of the Creation Club content up there. <laughs> hey, look, our carry weight's back under 300. 21 new displays. When did I get the... Oh, you know what? I know what the piercings are from. That's from, uh... Oh, I can make the replica of the Dragonstone. I think we'll just go put Malrus's codex on display. I don't think I have clay or a goldsmith bar yet, though. Nope. No goldsmith bar yet. No clay. Replica dragonstone in there so it can go get displayed. One new display. Oh, hang on, I think I got books I can put away. I think I got a few books I can put away real quick. I don't think I need to keep Blaze of the Evan tied with me. <laughs> the Art of War Magic. What a fun find. And Malrus's Codex we can go put in the, uh... Oh yeah, we don't need the book still on us for Blaze. Blaze's book is just... Hey, you got the book. Now you know the spells. Have fun. <laughs> oh, Aryan's got You're something back. for me. Wonderful. I trust things fare well. The Thorn Blood. I found an odd weapon from a Dunmer trader. And it turned out to be something rather impressive. Here, have a look and place it on display if you like. Yeah, on display it goes, actually. That's exactly where it's gonna go. Thorn blade. I don't think there's anything in here that needs to get specifically added to this to get it to show up anywhere. Malrose's Codex on there, because I don't want to carry it around. Rom just spawn? I don't think I saw him in here earlier. God, I 
hope his quest doesn't spawn up early. He has a quest that'll uh, populate for the museum where the museum gets robbed later. I don't, I don't look forward to that one. That, that quest is a bit of a pain in the ass. I do like the haunted museum one though. The haunted museum's fun. Right, let's get all my shit by the way. I think I got... I'm gonna have to talk to Aryan to get the cell pile to start going. It is like a romper, that's kind of funny. The necromancer romper. <laughs> oh, that's weird. What the hell happened to my legs? I didn't notice that until just now. Kazuki. This menu will allow you to select supplies for Ariana to purchase periodically. Make sure you keep your treasury stocked with gold as the cost will be deducted from there and supplies added to the supply order crate in the workshop. If there are insufficient funds available, items will not be purchased. Ariana will make purchases every three days of any item type you indicate. Item availability is random based on type. You may select multiple item types, but only one, once the purchase is made, you will have to make another request here for your next order. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can do ignits and gems, leather and hide, ingredients, food and drink, and then check the orders you've placed. What's up, Red? A sorting chest. You saw Man of Steel making big rounds earlier. He's, he popped in. The uh, the bot did its job though, and he got sent back on his way. What are you doing? I can't see her because the lights are off and it's dark up here. She's getting into something. I have to go figure that out in a minute. We'll keep those. I don't care for this one. Yeah, I'm not surprised he's still around, honestly. It uh, does not surprise me, sadly. this away. Is there a specific bot to keep Man of Steel? No, there's not. There's just, there's plenty of bots you can have added to your stream that will actively keep track of things, of accounts that seem suspicious or suspect or possibly like, it can track and go, oh yeah, this is more than likely a ban evader. This is likely a ban. It'll just prevent them from being able to chat to begin with. It's why the one time you showed up in chat, I was like, oh wow, you made it around the bot. That's actually kind of impressive. At, on the same token, it's one of those things of, it just, he doesn't bother me. I don't give him a reason to bother me, so it's, why bother? That and go get a Ryla as someone who's going to care. Me, I'll just turn the fucking chat off. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely better off going after people that he'll actually get a rile out of. get that and from the way he acts and talks it seems like someone in particular somewhere in the Mario community at one point has wronged him severely 
I've never met the guy. I've only heard about him. But it's kind of hard for me to have done something to directly, like, cause him, like, some degree of animosity. Oh, we can automate. We can already learn experimenter. Oh, I kind of want that. Let's take that. We have extra points. Let's start building an alchemy a little bit. All right, so we're back down to eight points. I think that's everything we can do right now. Because we could go to unlock Hendraheim, which wouldn't be a bad idea. to get it out of the way. <laughs> um, we really should go finish that up. Let's start the uh, thing. Actually, let's go turn on the cell pile before we uh, do it. It should be, I think it's after a hundred artifacts are collected. You can talk to Aryan and we will start selling your garbage. Oh, there he is. Hey, wake up. Do you have a question? I have too much stuff. Yes. I'd imagine with all these relics you're finding, you must be bringing back lesser items tenfold. I think I may be able to help you with that, though. I have many contracts in the trading world, in case a rare or unique artifact surfaces. I can make arrangements to liquidate your surplus spoils. I would most likely only be able to get about 30% of the value of the item to start. That works for me. That's better than With the zero. <laughs> willing to pay a bit more after we've proven the worth of your goods. Also, the merchants would like to see in person any enchanted items you are made if they are able to pay premium for them. Okay. So, continue to sell those yourself, but they will purchase any found relics with enchantments, sight unseen. Sounds good to me. Very well, then. Just put anything you want sold into the sell cart in the safe house, and every day I'll see to it that some of the items get sold off. And I'll put the proceeds of the sales in a lockbox on the desk by the safe house door. I'll start selling things off in a few days, so you have plenty of time to sort through your wares. Thanks, Arian. Go back to bed. <laughs> All right, now we got now we got cash flow. Now we got cash flow. Now we're in business. Now we are in business. All right. That, I think, is a good spot to call it for the day.